This is an unscientific four fight um, illustration of what a bard brings to the table. In this case, in the first two fights, I don't have my bard do anything at all. He's just sitting in the group. The only contribution he's making is that his rogue mercenary is attacking along with the other two rogue mercenaries. Um, it's just the SK in the first fight. I don't use the SK epic in the first fight. Um, and uh, let's see. I do use the shaman. Basically, he sends in a pet and he casts heals. This way I can just tab over, hotkey some stuff from the shaman, tab back, fight with the SK. And so my primary focus is on the SK. I have no focus on the bard at all. And as I said, the first fight is just that. I'm not gonna, the second fight is the SK, same thing, Bard's doing nothing, just tabbing over to keep the, uh, the Shaman throwing in whatever I can throw in in terms of pets, and a series of uh, heal primarily, that wave heal. And then my focus is on the SK. In the second fight, I do use the SK's epic, and that explains some of the difference in his uh, DPS. Now, this is the standard spell rotation I'm now using most of the time. The only time I'll switch to my DPS mode is if like I'm going for a named battle or something where I have a lot more dots up. In this one, I have one dot up. I tend to use Insidious unless I'm working with a, somebody who's mezzing, then I bring in uh, the 110 tap. Touch it to Ven, I believe, to Vem. Unfortunately, um, the one mistake I made is I had rebuffed Zlandikar, and I did not rememorize the tear. Normally, the tear would be the last line in my um, spell rotation using my bound keys, but in this case, it's Zlandikar. So, you know. No big deal, but that's the, that is my one key error. Now, as I said, the third fight, I turn the bot, the bard into a melody bot. You know, I, I bring up the aura, and I start him singing, not the chance, but just uh, War March, Aria, and some tank songs. And so, he's not using his epic, he's not attacking, there's no chance, he's just a pure melody bot. I don't, once I start him going, I don't look at him again. I just focus on the SK and to a lesser extent the Shaman. In the third fight, I don't use the SK Epic. So we have the Bard's contribution, which I think you'll see right there makes a huge difference, in particular with the Rogue Mercs. I mean, when you've got three Rogue Mercs in the Bard, huge contribution. And then in the final fight, I do use the SK Epic, and you know, you see that his DPS goes up. The Epic is very valuable. Anyways, I thought this was a fun illustration. I know it's not scientific, it's not a ton of fights, but I think in four fights, real quickly, you'll see that the Bard's contribution, ADVS, even if they're just a melody, the bot, is so huge, it explains why so many of these box groups now use a Bard. Um, it's so easy to just turn the melody on and not have to do anything. I have kind of looked at enchanters and what they bring. You know, what if it's a, a caster group and, and not a, a melee group? And the problem is so many of the caster groups are pet groups and bards do help them so much. So the only time an enchanter really outdoes the ADPS of a bard is in like a wizard group wizard wizard group pretty much i mean is it because there's every group is essentially melee these days the pets the bard's aura affects the swarm pets the the melody that they're singing aria and war march affects the pets it's no you know 
almost always the bard is going to be the better choice in terms of ADPS, even though enchanters do bring quite a bit of ADPS, especially if they're using their um, NPT, you know, their various proc-based spells. Um, anyways, I'm going to let you go. I just was having this uh, little comparison and thought it was kind of fun, so I thought I'd throw it out there for you guys. Take care. Talk to you later.